Hi, my name is Lily and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Act Your Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. Before we get into the video, I'll just let you know that I was sent a free review copy of this book by the publisher in exchange for my honest review. I was not compensated in any other way and this does not incentivize me to sway my review in any way. So, Actual Age Eve Brown is a adult romance novel. It is the third book in the Brown Sisters series, but it can be read independently of the other books, and I actually did read it independently of the other books. So, Actual Age Eve Brown tells the story of Eve Brown. She is the youngest sister in the Brown Sisters group and she is a bit chaotic. She keeps giving up on careers and failing so her parents tell her they're cutting her off and she needs to grow up and act her age and find herself a career. She drives off in a huff and while she's driving off in a huff she comes across a B&B. &B. She stops there initially because she thinks they'll be serving food but of course because it's a B&B &B, they're not but when she gets there she finds out they're holding interviews for a new chef. She decides to crash the interview. Of course it doesn't go particularly well as she's not prepared. However afterwards the interviewers decide that they like the sound of her even though there was a lot of tension between her and the owner of the B&B. &B. They go out to try and find her but because it's so heavily raining she doesn't see them so she accidentally runs over the owner of the B&B. &B. She then decides that she should probably stick around and help him run the B&B &B because she's the reason that he's now injured. <laughs> it's about Eve and Jacob who's the owner of the B&B &B, learning to work together and also starting to see each other in different lights as they get to know each other more over time. So this is a enemies to lovers romance and it is really really steamy, very graphic and just Oh, so, so good. I absolutely adored it. I gave it five stars and yeah, it's just amazing. It's so much fun, so funny, and I can't recommend it highly enough. As per usual, I'm going to take you through Core Pile to let you know what I thought about the book. So for characters, of course, this was rated very highly because I absolutely loved both of the characters. Both of our main characters, Eve and Jacob, are autistic characters and they are own voices autistic characters because the author, Talia Hibbert, is also autistic herself. I loved the way that their autism was treated as two very distinct and separate entities and manifested very differently for both of them. I found relatable things in each characters and also things that I knew were autistic traits but not ones that I found in myself and I thought that was really really great. It wasn't a stereotype, it wasn't that they were both identical, it was that they both had their own version of autism. I loved the way the characters interacted and I loved seeing their character development over time but also I loved how they validated each other and helped each other to find comfort in their own <laughs> expressions, I guess. And I, yeah, I really loved both the characters. They were both very lovable and very likeable. It would occasionally switch perspectives, even though it's always in the third person, sometimes it would switch to Jacob's perspective. And I love being able to see from both of their perspectives to see just how wonderful they are and how differently they think. And yeah, it just, I love the characters so much. Next we have Atmosphere, and I thought the atmosphere was built up very very well in this book. You start off with the tension between Jacob and Eve, and it slowly begins to unravel and turn into a more sexual tension, and I really liked that development. I also thought that the tension around the big event that they're meant to be hosting, and the, I don't know, the interactions between Eve and the clientele at the B&B, it just was really... <laughs> It was really well done. It felt very natural and very real and it felt like a great progression. I thought the atmosphere always matched the tone of the book at all times. Next we have the writing. I rate the writing of this book very very highly indeed. I found myself laughing out loud several times and that doesn't happen for me a lot and I think that's a really great strength in a romance novel. It's definitely a good rom-com. This is going to get you belly laughing, it's going to get you smiling, it's just such a lovely story but I also thought the sex scenes were very well handled. They were very graphic and very out there so if that's not for you maybe think twice. I thought they were very sexy and but also handled the issues of consent and mutual pleasure very very well so that's a really big plus for me. I also thought that the dynamics and the character development and just everything about the writing was just really really strong for me. I couldn't put this book down, I just wanted to whiz through it as quickly as I could because yeah I absolutely loved it and it was so well paced. Next we have the plot. This book isn't particularly a plot driven book, it's more of a character driven book 
told by the relationship between Eve and Jacob developing over time. So I can't really say all that much about plot, but I have to say it wasn't that it was lacking in plot, it just was that it didn't need a lot to be happening because the characters were so strong, they carried the stories very, very well. I thought the different aspects of the story were interesting and having the different dynamics going on in the background were very interesting. But yeah, the plot wasn't the strongest point of this book, but I don't think it was a negative for me. Now we have Intrigue. I think the biggest strength of this one for the Intrigue is that it was a constant will they, won't they, and waiting to see are they gonna finally kiss in this chapter? And I thought that was great. The tension and the sexual tension was built up very, very well, as I've already said, and it just made you want to keep reading to find out what was going to happen next. And you know, even after they do kiss, you want to keep reading more because things aren't all plain and simple, you just want to keep going. Next we have Logic, and I thought this was actually a really really logical book for a romance novel. I often find romance novels take a bit of a stretch and a bit of a leap of imagination and make things happen faster than they would, but I thought this had a very natural progression, I thought that there wasn't too much miscommunication going on, it all seemed to be a very <laughs> logical story and very believable. That was what it was for me. I think this love story was very believable to me and I could see this happening particularly between two autistic characters. And finally we have Enjoyment. This, I like, I've just raved about it, so clearly I absolutely adored this. It was so funny, it was so sweet, I just wanted to give them both a hug and yeah it just is one of the most perfect books I've read in a while for me because I really love the autism rep, I absolutely adored the characters, I loved the story, I loved their romance, I thought yeah it was just really fun and I loved the absolute cosy setting of a B&B. &B. So Act Your Age Eve Brown is already out, it came out on the 9th of March and is available all over the place. <laughs> As I said, it is a third book in the Brown Sisters series, but if you haven't read the first two, don't worry, you can definitely read this one on its own because I did. I'm going to be going back and reading the other two Brown Sisters books, but I had to read this one as soon as I could because the autism rep was calling for me. <laughs> I would say this is definitely one for people who love red, white and royal blue or boyfriend material and other similar rom-coms. It's definitely an enemies to lovers rom-com. If you like a good rom-com with a lot of steamy moments in it, this book is perfect for you. Okay, I think that's all I have to say about this book. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and consider subscribing to see more content from me. All my social media links are down in the description below. If you want to leave me a comment to let me know you are here, please leave me a little croissant emoji. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.